guys welcome back to another vlog so today we have finally a bit of sun as you can see it's nice and bright and I will be filming um, another video but I will be also making a vlog today so you will be able to see a little bit of behind the scenes and yeah yeah we'll see how that goes <laughs> so Firstly, I will start by making myself a cup of tea because that's really like that's something I really like to do uh, before I start work and Then I will show you what I've been working on so tag along and enjoy the video <laughs> Okay, can you see anything? I can't really see you but oh well <laughs> It's okay <laughs> So I don't know how about you, but for me, January is such a weird month. It always passes so fast. Like on, on one hand, it feels like forever. But on the other hand, it's just, it's like that and it's gone. And I don't know why that is. Well, one of the reasons is probably that after Christmas and after December, everything slows down and everyone seems to be just completely out of energy and out of everything. Um, yeah, sales go down, everything goes down and especially my energy levels went down this year, really. <laughs> so I really needed some time to get some rest. But then I just wake up and now we are almost at half of February. When did that happen? I mean, this is ridiculous. This is bonkers, you guys. And I'm so freaking tired of pretending to be okay with it. I honestly have no idea where this time has passed. So if you know, let me know, because I would like to know as well. <laughs> Are we recording? Yes. So, what I was thinking was that it's understandable that we feel so down and like completely without any energy in January because after December, after this like rush months of holiday and I don't think you need to have handmade business or anything like that to be exhausted because in like so many places, December is hectic, retail, customer service, so people are just completely dead. And the other thing is, I was just really surprised to discover that, I don't know if you knew that, but days in uh, winter are actually shorter. I know, right? So yeah, when I, I remembered this, I just thought to myself, it's justified. We are fine. It's okay. It's okay to feel completely out of any vital anything in January. So we can just chill. I'm gonna stop rumbling now. One last ticket before it's gone One last summer before it's fall Tune your strings and play your cards Little words hit me like a game of darts And you're beating working on uh, so this is like a little rose quartz collection we've got this pendant here it's finished and I really like the chain I think it goes quite well with the design then I've got another pendant which is like this point quartz rose quartz pendant then I've made these little earrings, dangle earrings. And then I need to finish this little necklace pendant. Again, it's 
quartz. Just need to finish setting and sand and polish. And this one, I need to finish it because it's not ready yet. It's been set, but as you can see, it's not finished. So I'll need to do that. And I'm really tempted to keep that one. <laughs> The only thing is that this part is quite soft. I've been having a really hard time to work hard on it. So I will need to think about something. Otherwise, I am definitely keeping it because I don't want it to break. And that's the work for today. So this is the design that I haven't showed you before. It's called Nebula. and. There's two because first I'm going to cut out the whole circle and then I'll cut her separately and I will be cutting each um, butterfly also separately. I've been, it's been cut here but you can see that there are butterflies here as well and it will look similar to this one which is the first one of the collection that's finished and it's called Aurora and I really love it. <laughs> I really love how it turned out, although I will uh, darken it a bit more because when I was polishing I actually took off some of the patina. So I think I will fix it. And yeah, so it's not very big, but it's a decent size. It's not heavy, it's quite light because I didn't want to make it too heavy so it's not thick. And yeah, it's three dimensional. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really curious how this one will turn out. You will see very soon. Oh, and if you've been watching my Insta stories, if you haven't, head on to my account and start following me because you are missing out on some of the tips. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been sharing um, a few tools that I recently purchased and it's actually thanks to Kim from Make It Kim Today. She's from Bristol. She runs classes at Folk House. So if you're looking for classes in Bristol, definitely check it out. It looks really good and I've seen a lot of people really happy with the course. So I think you should give it a go. And she also recommends many marvelous things and tips and advice. So give her a follow as well. I will link her in the description box below. And she has found out in that little was actually selling this box with different attachments for rotary tool. Um, th this is actually partially mine now. So I've added these ones. These are, these were mine, different buffs. These were mine. So, and I think these ones. So these were not included. It's yeah, I've, I've already changed a bit here, but all these ones, these and these were here and these green ones quite a lot of very useful bits and i mean the box by itself i think it costs around 14 pounds at cookson gold for box only and this one was 12.99 pounds in the k with all the bits included so i think that was excellent value for money and it's revolting <laughs> i think that's my favorite part i just like to sit here and play with it <laughs> but yeah i think that was excellent purchase i don't think sorry wait Ugh. yes so i don't think that they still have it but i can tell you what brand it is so you can actually try and google it and see if they are being sold somewhere else parkside seems I will do some research and whatever I find, I will also link in the description box below. So um, check if there's any information, additional information there. But it says on the handle here as well, Parkside. So I think that that's the brand. Thank you, Kim, for recommending that because I think 
I haven't seen her post. I think it's been a few days since she posted this. And then I saw that post and I rushed to my local little to check if they still have it and they did. So I know that few other people also got the chance to get it. And I, yeah, I haven't asked them if they were actually happy with the purchase, but I think they were. So yeah, I'll leave the additional information in the description box for you so you could find it. <laughs> always pack jewelry in separate plastic bags that I'm reusing when I ordered metal or other bits and bobs. They usually arrive in plastic bags like that so I reuse them to wrap my jewelry um, so you know I protect it from tarnish. <laughs> I actually keep my own jewelry in plastic bags like this as well. I'll show you because that's a really good way to protect it from tarnishing. It's not like, it's not fancy. I mean, I would prefer Tinkerbox, but everything tarnishes there. So I just use plastic bags instead of throwing them away. <laughs> there we go. I will need to photograph all of this and Posted. <laughs> I've got so much jewelry that I've never even took a photo of. I don't know why I do that. I like taking photos, but I don't know. It's just so hard for me to start with the whole process to prepare for photos, then take these photos, then choose right photos, edit them, and post them. That's not my superpower. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I'm gonna have to do that. take a little break from sewing and yeah I'm really hungry so I'm gonna make myself some pancakes now and I actually wanted to show you the recipe for it because they are very easy and quick to make so I think you would enjoy them too so let's do that now <laughs> so these are all ingredients that I'll be using I will mix some porridge with chia seeds a little bit of coconut flour and one egg with three or four dates because that will give you this like sweet taste and then I might add some um, coconut milk and I will use one apple you could use a banana and um, they are really nice with banana I just prefer the taste and sweetness of the apple <laughs> on time living our own life rather stay in bed be someone else instead and the dividing line between wrong and right how they blur with time like a noble crime in the high inside well I wait for my opinion I can see both sides In a way the room is spinning I can see both sides 
they are very soft as you can see so you will need spatula I think that's how it's called damn it spatula or even two to be able to turn them and don't make them too big because that's when it's it gets tricky to turn them oh come on I've made it too big Ugh. okay it's okay I don't mind <laughs> and there we go <laughs> I've put some natural yogurt with honey on top and some fruit and that's it I really like it it's very simple sweet nice I think it's quite healthy <laughs> so yeah I really recommend you trying those and let me know if you made them <laughs> Oh, one more thing. It's actually a good opportunity to say it now. So, um, for those of you who aren't using big filter masks um, just yet, I'm not using it yet, but I will be because it's a good, it's a good thing. Um, I've been using like a simple mask like that but it was getting dirty and damaged really quickly and I didn't feel like I'm actually protected when using this because I could feel that a lot of dust was coming in so I've purchased this mask on Amazon they had different colors I went for blue one because I don't really care about the color I think I've just chosen the cheapest one uh, because the prices were different depending on the color um, so yeah, this it came with, I think, two or three uh, filters that you can put inside. But I haven't put anything inside just yet, because I haven't been using it that often. But I'll put it on and you'll see that it covers uh, your face very well. <laughs> see? And it goes under your chin here and around your face like that and it covers your nose you can adjust it here <laughs> so and it's cotton so yeah i really recommend that i think it was around 10 pounds and free shipping so not the cheapest obviously but when it comes to your health you don't want cheapest you want to be safe so I think that's a good step towards getting the proper mask with filters on it um, for the future. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Those eyes you take me to the start, sweetheart, sweetheart. I think it's a good moment to finish the vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching today's vlog. Have a really good rest of the week and I will see you again very soon. Bye.